Hey guys, Peter here with day 11. Yes, our last but one day on the 12 day challenge here with Bella. Give me a kiss. And today I want to talk about games. Yes, you've probably heard that life can be a game. And for some people, it's a game that they're not doing too well at. For others, they have a lot of joy. But the type of games I want to talk about today are the games that you are playing or they are playing you. Because there are many games in the game of life, many sub games that we can participate in. You can choose to play the family game. You can choose not to. You can choose to play the spiritual game, the religion game, the teaching game, all of that stuff, the arts game. There are many games that are voluntarily uh, your choice with your free will. But there are three specific games that we don't get to choose. In other words, if we are not consciously playing and mastering these three games, then they are playing us. Now, the first game is the health game. Clearly, you know, you've heard me say many times, if you don't make time for health, you will have to make time for illness. So the health game is something you consciously must play and master. And you see the consequences of people that don't choose to play that game consciously you know, in every hospital, every hospice, you know, every pharmacy, you know, pretty much on the planet. Now, the other game that is non-negotiable you know, is the relationship game. Now, the relationship game, you may say, well, I just want to be on my own. Well, you're biologically hardwired not to do that. You know, we are social creatures and you go, go try being able to you know, make the, your own petrol to put in your car, your own gas. You know, we need society to work as a community. And that means each of us are going to be at some point interacting, not necessarily just on an intimate level. You know, you can choose to be single, but you're still having relationships with the people around you, whether they're serving you coffee in Starbucks, whether they're your friends, whether they're your you know, uh, clients, customers, employees, co-workers. You get the idea. So if you're not conscious on how to master the relationship game, you are going to be unpopular and get feedback from life that basically people aren't going to want to cooperate with you. So yeah, if you're not playing that, it's playing you. Now, the third game is obviously the money game. Now, people may say, well, you know, money isn't everything. Well, that's because they don't understand what money is. Money isn't everything. Money is a medium of exchange that is used to measure perceived value. But in the society that we have built today, then guess what? Yeah, you are not going to be going far if you don't have money. Money is a representation of the value you have previously added. And therefore, most people yeah, either confuse spirituality with poverty or they feel that money is somehow bad because they've got poor negative beliefs. We talked about the financial thermostat on my other five day challenge. We talked about self-worth and net worth uh, going back on. I think it was day two or three. But if you're not consciously playing the money game, you're going to go hungry. Yeah, if you can't eat what you want on a menu and you're eating what you can afford, then the money game is playing you. And I'm not talking about having to go to get education to learn how to make more money. That's the wrong way. That used to be the way way back decades ago. But as we now know, you, know, you don't need knowledge mastery. You need self mastery in order to excel in the money game. And there's some basic fundamental issues around that that many people just haven't mastered. So those three games you need to choose to play consciously and master. And to the degree that you master any of those three games, the health game, yeah, the relationship game and the money game, yeah, the quality of your life will increase exponentially. Now, I mention that because yeah, we've covered so much here in yeah, this 11 days so far of the 12 day challenge that yeah, I really want to be able to provide you a framework of how to pull this together in the context of mastering those three games, which is why I'm doing this Wednesday, this masterclass on how to take your life to the next level in 2020, sorry, 2021, let's forget 2020, in 2021 and really just make it the year that you shined. So yeah, click the link, come join me. It's free. It's going to be at least an hour. I'm going to answer questions and answers till you've all gone home. So no stone is left unturned. No little niggling doubt in your mind. I'm going to give you the best of what I know uh, to be able to give you the certainty to walk out with a pathway and a framework and a methodology to go crush this year in style. So you can get healthier, you can have more love in your life and you can have more financial abundance. So if that's like, like something you want to do, fabulous. So today's challenge for you guys is, yeah, when you look at your life, pick one of those three games and rank them in the most uh, uh, order of what you would want to do in terms of prioritizing which one you want to master. If you're in pretty good health you know, and shape like me for like 50 odd years old, then yeah, maybe you're struggling in the finances. That's where it needs your attention. Maybe you've got money, but you can't walk upstairs without getting out of breath or play with your grandkids yeah, until you know, they're, uh, you're uh, tired too quickly or what have you. So. Uh, maybe the health game is your priority. But out of those three games, uh, if you're lonely, 
like that, or if you don't have success in relationships, you're having the same relationship with different people each time, then guess what? Yeah, that becomes your priority. So my challenge to you is to leave the comment in the chat, which out of those three games are you gonna be focusing on first? And then we're gonna talk strategies on Wednesday on how to put all of those in perspective. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being with me on the challenge. Yeah, if this is the first time you come across one of these, go watch the others, they're gold. Yeah, go check out the comments and I'll see you guys for our last final day, the most important day tomorrow on day 12.